Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see a question from June 2019 consisting of 4.75 marks. The question says, if n be any integer, then which of the following is correct? So among these four, what is, what is the correct option, right? So they are given this polynomial x cube plus nx plus 1. Now they are asking whether this is irreducible or reducible over z for every n for n belonging to the set 0 and minus 2, for n not belonging to this set and for infinitely many n. So let us see for what values of n the given polynomial is reducible or irreducible, right? So uh, let us proceed for option number b. For this option we have this polynomial, right? x cube plus nx plus 1. Now we need to check it for two values of n that is 0 and minus 2. So let, uh, let us substitute n is equal to 0 into our given polynomial. So our polynomial x cube plus nx plus 1 now this term becomes 0 therefore we are only left with x cube plus 1. So we can easily factorize this by using the cubic formula a cube plus b cube that is equal to a plus b and a square minus ab plus b square right so we can use this formula so we'll obtain these uh, two polynomials therefore from here we see that x is equal to minus 1 is a root of this polynomial when n is given to be 0 right so in this case we obtain the given polynomial as the product of two polynomials therefore the given polynomial becomes irreducible by its definition another uh, thing when we substitute n is equal to minus 2 here the given polynomial in the given polynomial we substitute n is equal to minus 2 so we have this term right so uh, sorry this term right so this is the thing now we need to check for root we can uh, go by hit and trial method so you'll see when you substitute 1 into this polynomial you'll uh, obtain 0 it is quite obvious that it is minus 2 and 1 and uh, if you substitute here 1 also and here 1 you will get 0 right so x is equal to 1 is a root for this polynomial when n is equal to minus 2 uh, or in other words we can say x minus 1 is a factor so therefore by definition this polynomial becomes irreducible right therefore for these bo both these values of n 0 and minus 2 our polynomial is reducible therefore this option is correct right option b is correct because it is irreducible over z now look at option number one it says that the same polynomial is irreducible over z for every n now this thing is not true because we have just seen that for n is equal to 0 and for n is equal to minus 2 our polynomial is reducible therefore this option is incorrect now the, for the third option they are asking this polynomial is irreducible over z if n does not belongs to this set. We have verified the result that, that whenever n is equal to 0 or minus 2, our polynomial is reducible. Now, is there any other n such that the polynomial is reducible? If not, we can say that this polynomial is irreducible over z for every value of n except these two so we need to uh, look for any other values apart from 0 and minus 2 of n such that the polynomial is reducible if so this option is incorrect right so for this we can use this result rational root theorem that means if we are looking for some rational root of the form p upon q where this p and q they are relatively prime and both of these come from the set of integers right so in that case this is a root of fx if the numerator p divides the constant term of the polynomial and that this denominator divides the leading coefficient of this polynomial right so in our case the polynomial is given to be x cube plus nx plus 1 so a rational root of this form Rational root obviously include integers, so it's better to check for the rational root, right? So here P should divide the constant term that is 1 and Q should divide the leading coefficient that is also equal to 1. So P should divide 1 that means P could either be plus minus 1 and Q could also be either uh, could also be plus minus 1. Therefore, uh, this rational number P by Q that is e either equal to plus 1 or minus 1. 
the uh, and uh, when x is equal to plus 1 we just saw what is the value of n when n uh, x is equal to plus 1 in this case we have the value of n is minus 2 right and when x is equal to minus 1 the value of n is equal to 0 therefore the only possible roots rational the only possible rational roots are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 and for these we have uh, n, uh, the values of n as minus 2 and 0 therefore the polynomial f of x this is reducible or have it has a root whenever n is equal to 0 or it is equal to minus 2 only right so Uh, this option is incorrect i am sorry this option is correct because we do not find any other n for which this polynomial is reducible therefore this uh, polynomial is irreducible for every value other than 0 and minus 2 uh, and uh, similarly the fourth option says this polynomial is reducible over z for infinitely many n now we found that the polynomial is reducible over z for only n is equal to 0 and minus 2 therefore these are finite numbers and not infinite thus this option is incorrect option right so only correct options are b and c well uh, from here how on the basis of roots how did we say that this polynomial is reducible because for degree 2 or 3 degree 3 we have a result that if you found any root for this polynomial then that polynomial become reducible right so i hope that this uh, question is clear well thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video